Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with a quick DMZ guide, and in this one I will be showing you guys the location of the crane control room key so that you guys can get started on your next mission. Now in order to complete the crane control room mission, you will first need to find a crane control room key. So I will show you guys where I found it, I just simply was looting around in some lockers and ended up finding the crane control key in one of them. So keep in mind guys, this crane control room key is a random drop around the map and it could be very, very hard to find due to that fact. So if you run high value target missions, it will guarantee key drops. And if you also kill heavily armored enemies, those ones that have the helmets on, they have a chance of dropping keys. It won't be every kill, but they have a chance of dropping keys. So you can look there. So here's the exact location on the map where I found mine, just simply stuffed in a locker. Now, if you guys don't want to deal with looting everywhere on the map, trying to find this key as it can take a very long time to do, there's a few other methods which you can guarantee a key. So if you simply go into Black Moss and you get up to tier three, there will be a mission called Quick and Dirty. This will have you complete an elimination HVT contract in under two minutes. And once you complete that mission, you will receive the con crane control room key as a guaranteed drop. Now, a third way that you guys can try to get the key is by simply joining the Discord server that I've started for the DMZ. We currently are already up to 100 members within the first 24 hours, and there are tons of people in there grouping up together to share keys, complete other faction missions, and just simply have some fun in the DMZ without having to play solo. So I will leave a link down to the Discord in the description of this video and also in the comments in case you guys want to join that and don't want and that way you guys can share some keys and actually get the mission done with the team make things a lot easier now keep in mind once you have the key guys it will have three uses on it so it's a good idea to try to extract and save it so you can try to help someone else along the way if they need it and also keep in mind guys that obviously if you have the key on you and you go down or die you will lose that key so just keep that in mind and be safe when you have the key on you so that's pretty much it for this one guys hopefully it helps you out and i will catch you guys in the next one peace